Hi and welcome back to my barn find mini ice cream van project. On our last feature length episode we got the engine running but we did have a few things we needed to finish which we're going to address in this episode. First up was the water temperature switch. Go go go! <laughs> yeah no I didn't get a new washer. Oh, it's not too bad, is it? Different sensor. I'm hoping this will fit then. This is the one the book says. Nope, didn't fit. Too long. Yeah, no, that's a first fail of the day then. <laughs> Much shorter thing. I won't over tighten that. Right. Oh well, we'll get on with that. something else. We need to change that solenoid. Have we got the battery disconnected? We have, yeah. Right. How the dickens do we get that out? Right. We'll give that a bit of a brush up. So we're changing the solenoid because last time out we couldn't start the mini with the key. Brush or something a bit. We'll get this bracket off and then I think we're going to have to do a bit of cleaning up on the, to get it to fix. Right. We reckon the chances of getting that off. <laughs> uh, slim to none. Should we yeah. get a wire brush on it and... Yeah, I mean, do you want to... Clean it up now, or do you just want to put it back on and we'll just get everything to work? And then we'll, it's going to have to come So we went ahead and we changed the solenoid. Right, we better put a gasket on here because we just bodged it up before. So I've got some screws so we can return the old screws to the other carburetor that we stole them off of. Get rid of that for the moment. Oh, Bennett. Enough, no <laughs> yes, so we went ahead yeah. and we added a brand new gasket and some nice shiny new screws. Put the beastie back in. And then we'll... All right, um, I think while we're doing anything else, Colin, why don't we take the bonnet off? I think we're just struggling and it's just doing the, uh, and by the look of it, we're already missing a nut out of that side anyway. Yeah. All right. Sounds good, all right. If I take the weight. Yeah, you take the weight and uh, try not to get mini head on me. Mini head's a new word for Sean. Oh, he just found out what it means by hitting his head on that you nice hook that hangs out from the bonnet. Out yeah, I'll pull the arms out because they've got studs on. Right, second. Yep. Right, I'll release the one near you. Well, if you push it towards the other wall slightly, that's it. Now, it should come towards you. That's it, you got the weight? Yep. Oh, daylight! Right, they're letting the monkey do the work. Sean's busy. Drinking tea. Supervising. Supervising, that's what he calls it. So, I'm going to take off the uh, Clutch lace limbs are. See how I get on. So, just gonna hook cable tie around the end of the spring here, see if we can release this. Okay, that was nice and easy. Let's just remove that so we don't lose it inside the engine bay. Enjoying it over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh... mm. Leave that out. Now for the fun part. Let's see if we can get this undone. I'll start with the easy bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
one wasn't too tight. I don't know how I'm going to get to the other one though. <coughs> I'm not going to lie. At this point, I thought I'd broken the bolt. Undo. Is it to the list? Right. So we should now have this three, which it is. What I needed to do here was try to get that little tabby bit off the old slave slender that held the spring together. It was really tight. I couldn't do it. I had to get help. So a new slave slender, which is going to move the bleed nipple and the rubbish. Come here. Rubbish. Fish. Remember the little tag. Try to orientate it the same way as it came off. It's, it'll, it won't be tight, it just it runs round, doesn't it? It's just an anchoring point. Oh, yeah. Some nice new rubber hoses. So I have a question for some of you mini enthusiasts. Cut the cable tie off. Where is the throttle cable supposed to go? Does it go between the spring and the clutch slave cylinder? Does it go it underneath? Under. Does it go I over? It went it under that. really uh, make a lot of sense. It went under at the point, didn't it? Is that right? Eh? Uh, well, as long as it's not hitting anything, it doesn't really matter, does it? Mm. It's got a little... It's well, back got... where we got it from. Yeah. It's only a spring, isn't it? Right, that's back in. Yeah. More shiny nuts and washers. Yeah. Right, so we're just going to mark on the copper pipe. I'm going to go to about here. I'm going to try to make a nice little U bend. See how that goes. That's it. Okay. Right, so I'm taking the blame for this then, am I? Yeah, yeah. So I think we put a bit of a kink in the bottom and try and get roughly like the other one. Not too ridiculously. Yeah, you only get so many bends out of it then, that's the trouble. Oh, I think we might get away with that. Pretty close, isn't it? Time you do. What do you reckon? Nice job, Sean. Looks good. Why does everything take so long? Now we have everything reconnected, it's time to bleed the clutch. Alright, now we're doing in the fluid. That's nah, alright, we've got plenty in there. Well, Are we ready for the tedious task of bleeding brakes? You're up, aren't you, at the moment? Yeah, we're up at the moment. Right. Go on, go down. Hold yeah. it. Up. Yeah. Down. Down. Up. Up. Down. Down. Right. I don't know if this is... Correct, but so once we bled the clutch, Sean thought it would be a good idea to have a look at trying to get the headlights working. In there. I know we don't really need the lights working, but let's just, out of curiosity, see whether... It's just another thing that we can actually fix today. At least these aren't seized. Oh, 
anyone that's worked on old cars already knows working on electrics is never fun. It should, it should pop out. <laughs> that's probably why that bulb don't work. Yeah, I've got some spares. All right. Uh, that might not help. <laughs> Someone sprayed. Someone's overdone the pink a bit. Well, we'll put it on a multimeter and just see if the, the filament has gone or if it's just the fact that there's paint everywhere. I mean, literally everywhere. Someone's been doing a bit of tarting. It doesn't look too bad. The filament looks all right. I wonder if it's just... We'll get a bit of emery on that and just give it a clean. Replace the little I think Sean's just trying to that convince that himself it's just a little bit of corrosion on the connectors. Fix something today, isn't it? Would be. Yeah. Do you want to grab a little bit of emery cloth? Yeah, grab a bit of emery cloth and I'll get some bulbs out. Could be it. So that's a red wire. Yeah, this quality mess here is uh, your wiring highs. All right, let's see if we've got any voltages at that thing. I do not believe we will have. All right, you want to just uh, turn the... Ignition on? Yeah. Do you want to switch? Yeah, side light, please. Side light. I was trying to do something. It's getting five volts, so... Wiggle the switch a bit. The other one's on, though. Lugar connectors. Well, that's not exactly um, clean, is it? Shiny, no. no. Do you want to use a little bit more of this? Yeah, it's because it's just all the rubbish and oil all over it, isn't it? Uh, give it your scotch bright. They're just Lucas bullets. So yeah, it's a standard thing from, I don't know when. You just put these bullet ends on. They used them on everything. You know, it's just, it is of the day. Okay. Ignition on. Yeah. Side light. It's got more, it hasn't got, not the best. Hang on, right, turn it off. Side light off, ignition off. Yeah. Go on, try it again. Okay, ignition on, side light on. Yeah, it's not. Hang on, I'll turn it off a second. I'm wondering if Sean's regretting his decision to try to fix the lights. No, we're not happy you're working. Okay, turn it off, please. Maybe we've got another break in the wire somewhere. On this quality wire. What have you found? Where the wiring harness has been sort of extended, I think would be a more technical term. So I'm presuming one of these connections. particularly well. That one's good. That's the other one gone. So Sean remade the joints under the wing and we now have working headlights. So next up was the indicators. Going left worked, but going right didn't. What have you found? Uh, it's pretty grubby in here. It looks brutal, but what Sean's doing here is trying to release the spring that holds the bulb to try to make a better connection. That 
let's feed the spring up and make it work. How did we get sidetracked onto indicators? <laughs> yeah. Maybe thought see this is really corroded and mad enough, so we're gonna still no luck with the indicators, so I remade the connections where the stock connects to the main wiring loop. And then we're going to connect in the stalk I've borrowed from another car. So we'll connect you in. Much better indicator stock than the original, that's for sure. Let's see if we can get both indicators working after changing the stalk. So ignition on. Woo! Yeah? Yeah, passenger working. Still nothing on the right though. Yeah, but that's. I don't know. Okay. I'll look at the back one just to see. It could be anything. Yeah. Back. Uh, yeah. I just got to do the back one, sure. Yeah, you can have a look just at the back one. Film, I think. Yeah. So back left working, Jen? Yep. Yeah, nothing at the back. Okay. No. Some time later. I call that success. Please make sure you like and subscribe for the next episode. Thank you all for watching. Cheers.